we back at it, like a crack addict. We outside the Ross, we're gonna go in there, and see what we find. Let's roll. So, why, ooh, bro, New Balance 574 Sports. Um, these guys right here are like a modern upgraded version of the 574s, and they are only 20 bucks, which is really, really good. It's really, that's a steal price. Would you wear these? Yeah. I like these. But yeah, dude, at 20 bucks, this, is a, this ain't bad. They look like they've been tried on or even worn because they look a little dirty, so I don't know if I could pass them off as DS. But at 20 bucks, I think I can still make some loot off of them. Check the comps. Check the comps. Check the comps, baby. All right. Anyways, New Balance, 574 Sports. All right. I don't know the exact models of these. I think they're like the what, the Puma hybrids? But uh, these are pretty cool. These, uh, these have, I know they look like they have like freaking keloids and uh, like they have a skin disease and they need to see a dermatologist but that's how they're supposed to be all right these are these are energy beats uh puma had the boost tech before adidas and uh, if you try these shoes on if you see them try them on because they're extremely comfortable and this plate right here i mean it has it throughout the whole sole and in here but it just has this plate right here and it gives it a really nice structure this is actually a shoe that i really like they're cool i like them i like i would get them but i kind of just wish they would this would be all black or all white. I think we need Dr. Souls to uh, to evaluate these, to diagnose them. You know what? Matter of fact, we're gonna have to hit up Dr. Souls. Be like, what is this? You know what I mean? And if you guys don't know who Dr. Souls is, I'm gonna leave you a link in the in the in the thing so you guys can sub to him. He's actually a a real doctor, right? And he collects sneakers, and uh, he's a funny guy. I like him. What am I supposed to do? All right, ain't much out here. All right, so this Ross sneaker wise. It's a dud. All right, I don't know if they're doing like a like inventory. I don't know if they're remodeling. I don't know what, All right, but look at this. Show that. Bone dry. But I did find this Cam Newton Under Armour bag. Um, this is pretty crazy. All this Cam Newton-ish stuff. People were all like raving about these two uh, in the group. It's 80 bucks though. What's the group? The group, oh, we have a Ross Finds group, okay, on Facebook. Find me, make sure you answer the questions. I'll just be like, hey, I know Nacho. All right, but there's a secret group, a secret society of Ross Finders on Facebook. All right, I know a lot of people are like, I don't even use Facebook anymore. And that's fine, but if you do, all right, find us. It's called Ross and Ann Marshall Finds. Cam Newton bag, obviously it's got the C and the N. It's got the Under Armour logo. It's got the studs. Cam Newton has a weird style, you know? Designed for Cam Newton. This bag retails for 250, which is pretty expensive. But I got it here for 80 bucks. I'm definitely gonna check the comps on this guy, see if I can make some money off of it. Hopefully, it's not flooded. All right, so we just bought this one percent of water right here. This is black water. Enjoy the dark side. It's alkaline, pH 8.0 plus. It, it, it doesn't look appealing at all, though. Huh? How is it? This tastes like Play-Doh water. Black water? Black water, you know, gothic water. The Smith's water. <laughs> That's wild, huh? This is a pretty interesting find. I was talking to one of my buddies on, on the IG, and uh, you know, we were talking about how K-Swiss has like been um, upgrading or, or they've been changing their whole like brand image and things like that. They've been doing some collabs with Anwar Carrots, you know, a couple other people. They got the Gary V's. Everybody knows they got the Gary V's and stuff like that. But anyways, they do bring out some premium models that a lot of people don't know of. But these guys right here are actually uh, anniversary and these are uh, made in USA. And they're dope. They're heavy. They feel premium. I think these might even be genuine leather. They're priced right at 20 bucks. These usually go for about like $100, $100. So. That's a steal at 20 bucks. I mean, for some US made, you know, products, that's cool. If these were white, this would be a straight buy for me. But that black just makes it look too uniform to me. Like it's like a buster shoe, huh? I don't know. It's kind of hood, old. actually. It is, it is, it is. I'm gonna check the comps. Maybe I can make some money off of them. 
maybe I can't, but yeah, these are definitely something that I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to. They're pretty nice. What do you think? Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Can I give you this quick invitation? Yeah, It's sure. for our shop, we got breakfast shakes in the morning. All, All right, right, thank you, bro. You guys have a great day. All right. Good. What is, is that? For our YouTube channel? Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. All right, man. <laughs> what is it? Over life. Morning breakfast shakes. What do you think? I don't know. They fit the profile, overweight, Latino, 30 year old dude. You motherfucker. What do you think? I guess. Shit. If you're paying for it. I'm not paying for it. All right. I'm gonna make, the, I'm gonna make our subscribers pay for it. <laughs> you guys yeah. wanna see David lose weight? Or is he funny fat? What, the fuck is, <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? Huh? huh? You remember Drake and Josh? Yeah? What about it? You remember when Josh got skinny? Yeah. He wasn't funny anymore. I don't, he was never really that funny. He was hilarious. No, he wasn't. He was never funny. All right, that's your era. All right, that's one. Now, who all that pussy shit came out from? I know I wasn't with it. I wasn't. Funny fat? Funny fat. I'm funny fat? Yeah. Damn. Grape mind blowers? Yo. Obviously, if you guys have watched my videos, you guys know I'm a big Fila fan. If you haven't, well, guess what? I'm a big Fila fan. But the mind blowers is probably one of my favorite, if not favorite, Fila models behind the Grant Hill 2s, AKA the Grant Hill 96s. I don't know. It's just kind of like a terrible colorway. It just looks too much. This colorway, even though it's a nice colorway, and no, they don't own the colorway, it just looks too similar to the Grape 5, the Jordan Grape 5. So it kind of just looks like a copycat. Love the model, colorway not so much. I think it's a poor execution on my part. I mean, I mean on Fila's part. You know, what do you guys think? What's your opinion? Hey, let me know. Dope or nope? These are pretty cool. In the ladies section, found some uh, safaris. It's a pretty nice colorway. The safaris, are, you know, they, they kind of, they're very, I believe they're the predecessor to the Air Max 1. Don't quote me on that. This is all off the top. But I know the safaris is a pretty coveted model you know, in, in among certain sneaker circles, but this is nice. It's not a bad looking shoe at 40 bucks, but that damage right there is pretty hardcore. Pro tip, always look at your tag. And if it says irregular, look for any kind of defects. All right, sometimes they don't have them, sometimes they do, but usually that means that they're B grades or they have, you know, damages and stuff like that. So just double check. Also, there's a B grade stamp in here. See that, that red? That means they're, they're not up to par. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. We got uh, these uh, Prime Knit, I think the other women's um, NMDs. Two years ago, maybe even three years ago, you wouldn't have seen this shoe. and You would have went crazy if you saw a pair at your local Burlington's, Ross, Marshalls, whatever. But now, you know, they brought out a bunch of colorways and they just oversaturated it and now they just became a common man shoe. Doesn't mean that it's not a nice shoe, because it is. They're 44 bucks, regularly like 150, maybe 120. I don't even know the retail prices because your boy don't pay retail. Boom. But anyways, these are, this is a nice shoe, you know? Is anybody still a fan of NMDs? Because I am, personally. You know, I think I got like two pairs. NMD, all white, prime knit. Yes. Well, what are these? These look like some Nike Lab type joints. I think these are actually Complex Con exclusives. Um, this is pretty crazy. They're extremely, they're not even a high top. That's like beyond a high top. But they have these little zipper things right here. They got these big thick rope laces. I mean, the quality is there. Not something I would wear personally. Looks like they come with like little like Velcro like accessories. Are these rare? Um, they might be. I mean, if they're a Complex Con exclusive, they could be a little rare. Not everything that's a Complex Con exclusive is rare, though. But, like, look, you can put, like, little, like, the little Velcro things. You can put them on there. I mean, they're ugly, in my opinion. A little pricey at 75 bucks, though. But still, definitely, you know, something to check the comps. It's an interesting sneaker, nonetheless. Ralph's Fine of the day. Nike Air Force One specialty. Exclusives. 
What do you guys think? Yay or nay? All right, guys, it looks like it's a wrap. Uh, we came up on a few things here and there. Please like, subscribe, and uh, check you guys out on the next one. Peace.